Welcome back to Cascade Men. Today we are going to be going over how to set up your tent or your shelter half. For the sake of this video and what's the norm in reenacting, I have two shelter halves here that we're going to make into a dog tent today. Um, only because, you know, that's what you're really going to see at your mainstream events, so that's what we're going to do to help any of you new guys out. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is go out into the woods and find some decently sized sticks. Um, I'd get your uh, tent pole sticks here, uh, your Y sticks to be about 52 inches in length. And then for your uh, middle stick, I would go for something around six feet. And I'd go ahead and shave that down with a knife to get rid of any rotten kind of bark. Next up, you're going to want to get your shelter halves ready, your gum blanket ready, and then your wool blanket. And again, when you're in the forest getting your sticks, get some even smaller ones to make your tent stakes with. So you're going to want to set up your two tents and have both the buttons and the grommets lined up. And you're just going to want to go ahead and go down this line and start buttoning it. All right, now what you're going to want to do is go to one side of the tent and set in the stakes as a way to hold it in. And you don't need to pull on them too tightly right now because you're going to later readjust to get things just the way you want them. This is just to get a good solid base going here. All right, now that you have your shelter half set up, go ahead and grab your bowel buddy that traditionally speaking you would have your two halves set up with. Go ahead and grab them. Take that stick and push it through. And now grab your Y stick. There you go. And then push it up just like that. And this is honestly a two-man job. So go ahead. All right, now you're going to want to go ahead and hold it in the middle here. And I am going to grab the tent stakes. Now, this is never going to be easy. No matter how many times you do it, you're not going to get it right the first time. It takes a lot of finagling to do. So we're going to want to have you hold this in the middle here as I drag this out and I now put in the stake. Just like this. We're just setting these stakes in right now. We're not putting them all the way into the ground yet until we are completely happy with how it looks. We'll go ahead and adjust this how we like it. And as you can see with our preset stakes over here, we're going to want to pull those out again and pull out the tent as tight as we possibly can to make as much room as possible so it'll be more comfortable when we're sleeping at night. We have some more elbow room. And there we go. That is essentially how you set up a dog tent. As you can see here, my brother Griffin is setting up the gum blanket for the night, which is essentially just a big sleeping pad. However, due to saving time, what you would usually want to do is gather a bunch of loose hay, pack it under here or any leaves to create some sort of insulation for you when you're sleeping at night to keep you a little bit warmer. It do, it's not going to do a whole lot, but it does a little. And uh, what to do with all your gear, you might be wondering. Traditionally, what they would do is they would go ahead 
and hang up their leathers just right here on the tent poles. And your haversack so you can easily get your food. And then finally on top of that, Griffin, if you don't mind throwing me a canteen. And then finally your canteen so you have quick access to water. And there you go. That is a Civil War dog tent at its finest. Thanks again for tuning in to Cascade Men. And another thank you to Griffin, my brother, who helped me out today with setting up the dog tent. And to the cameraman, Parker, for making this all possible. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment down below. We'll see you next time.